Kenny, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Um, Coach, just talk to us about, you know, you stepping up more as being the leader on in the running back room and kind of on this team. Like, how has this, how has this practice been for you just kind of, you know, not just knowing what you can do, but also trying to stay hungry and motivate other people to just keep that intensity going? Uh, first of all, you know, um, everybody on the team is doing well. You know, we, we try to come out and do great. Like, we work, work real hard in practice. But in the running back room, it just – it's just I'm just trying to teach everybody like what I have learned, like what I've been taught by the guys, like above me, like Daryl them, what I've like, been taught. Just trying to like pour everything I can into them, so they can go out and execute it to the highest level, to the highest level they can. And just being just being a leader on this team, it just I just lead by example, go out and like do what I do. And, you know, just, <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Hey, yeah, go ahead. yeah, go ahead, Evan. Okay. Um, does, does it feel weird for you, Kenny? Just kind of, you know, a couple of years ago, you were learning from Daryl and Tony and Pat, and now you're kind of being that that guy, kind of like in that teaching mode, even though you're, you know, so you're, you know, third year here? Uh, no, nah, it ain't kind of, it ain't weird at all. It's just that, you know, once you, once you are put, there, sit there to be that leader, you just got to, you know, just like taking advantage of a, a first spot to um, take over and run run for the team, you know. But it's just like just being that guy to teach, you know, just being a teacher. It's just like getting a job. You was a student at first. Now you're a teacher. You just got to teach. Okay. Marginato. Uh, two questions for you, Kenny. One, what's the difference for you – Last year, you were kind of, you're the unknown guy in the preseason, you know, nationally, no one knew about you. And now being kind of a guy who's getting accolades and, you know, everyone, you know, you had a fantastic season. Everyone knows who you are. What's that, what's the difference for you, you know, day to day? Like, I'm sure it doesn't change your work habits, but it's obviously got to feel different this year than last year. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it feels kind of different, but at the same time, I still use my old ways. I still use like what I used to do as a freshman. I still do that now. I don't go out on don't do things. I just, you know, I stay home and I try to learn like extra stuff. I stay home, watch film, like just trying to pour everything I could into my myself. And it just I don't know, but it don't feel different. I just I just soak it all in and just go to the side and just when it's time to when it's time for me to, you know, be showcased and, and look at stuff like that, I, I do. Gotcha. And then just, uh, Coach Silverfield sort of talked about a little bit ago, but when this camp began, like all that, when all the news was circling about the season, the Big Ten and the Pac-12, it seemed like, you know, every day you're answering questions about, you know, is there going to be a season? Now that you're 11 days out from the season opener, does it feel different? Can you, like – forget about that finally and, and really just focus on, hey, we're about to play, have a football season? Uh, yeah, since we came back since June, when we first came back for, like, the little, little training we were doing, you know, I've been focused on September 5th. You know, I ain't been caring about uh, if we want to go have a season, we'll go have a season. Now, if we will go have a season, I will go out and do the same exact thing as I did last year, but with a little bit more umph in it, you know. So I was just gonna give give it all I can. But you don't you don't feel no different. Okay. Terry Davis. Hey Kenny, you had a whole season to go through, you know what the rigors are. What's the difference in you this year physically and mentally? Uh physically I do you know, I'd have stepped up and like to being a blocker now, you know, um, my blocking skills had got better, uh, and mentally, you know, I just, I just, the game has slowed down just a little bit for me, and like just learning everything I could, knowing defenses and stuff like that even more better. Um, just, you know, just being a, a player of the game and learning, you know, it, it'll slow the game down for you. Um, Evan Barnes. 
Danny, last year, um, I remember you, you had some conversations with, uh, you know, D'Angelo Williams, just kind of listening from him and soaking wisdom from him. What did you learn from him or what did he tell you just to kind of, you know, you know, what did you learn from just somebody who obviously has been in your shoes in Memphis being a running back? Uh, D'Angelo always told me just run hard, really. Uh, just to run hard as I can, be the player that I am. You know, he got, he know I got a lot of skill sets, so he just like, put your skills on, on display, you know, just go out there and be the best that you can. Uh, go ahead, Evan. One more thing, Kay. I, 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 we've asked some other guys this, but just the last few scrimmages, you guys have had no noise, no crowd noise, um, no music playing. Um, how does that feel? Like, I know Coach says, you know, you guys got to bring your own energy, but as a player, mm -hmm. kind of how does that feel not having the crowd noise and kind of knowing that's going to be what you guys expect for some of these games this year? Uh, it's like taking me back to high school. You know, high school, I had no crowds at all. You know, it was like probably like 200 people in the stands. But it just take me back today. You know, you just gotta have a mental aspect of the game. Like you just gotta focus on what you gotta do, go on and execute, and just be be, the, be that man, be that be that guy that you wanna be. Work hard.